We're making bars. This is supposed to be a silent film. With... Anyways, it's me and Mickey Mouse. Quiet as a mouse. We're going to put that back in the bowl. Yeah, make a little bit of mess. But it's okay. It's all fun. Yeah. This, I'm going to put them in a pan. And then I'm going to put it in the uh, freezer for an hour. Boy, this is hard to get out. But they're going to taste so good. These are power bars. Every morning you can slice a piece, have it with a nice green shake, green smoothie made with that hemp powder and some veggies, green leaves. I like cilantro. I buy a bunch of cilantro every week until I start to grow my own. And then I love cilantro so much I put it in, <laughs> in the shakes. It just it's oh I love that taste. It's so amazing. Did you know cilantro is actually the same taste as that, that um, God provided in the desert for the Israelites. It tastes like coriander, and coriander is cilantro. Boy, that's what the Mexicans use in their salsa dips and their, uh, oh my goodness, it's so delicious. They can make anything out of that thing, huh? And it's good in vitamin A. They have uh, properties, anti-cancer causing properties. Hey, I'm no expert on the nutrition part, but <laughs> it's all good for you. It's the best you've ever will ever eat in your life. You know? When, once you start going raw, you're gonna notice the difference. And then you go, ah, you know, somebody in the family goes, I want a cooked meal once in a while. Okay, so you make the cooked meal. Then what happens? You have it, and then the next day you know what you feel like. You feel like you don't want to get out of bed. You're so tired. And you really notice the difference in physically, uh, mentally, emotionally. Oh, everything's connected, man. Everything. Everything's connected. You know, that's like that that silly song you learn when you're a kid. The bone connected to the whatever bone. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is fantastical. But my hands are a mess. But never, never mind about that. We're gonna get some of this flax powder, and um, we're gonna put that in there just for binding. Flax powder uh, bran is good too, but you know this ground flax has got, um, you can see nutritionally, two tablespoons, 80 calories, and it has omega-3s and omega-6. How much? 3.3 grams of omega-3, and of omega-6 at 0.8 grams. It has... Um, Fiber, 4 grams. Protein, 4 grams. Calcium, 2%. Iron, 6%. So it's very, very good. Where did I hear that? Oh, Genesis, yeah. I remember that. Do you all remember that? Genesis and Garden of Eden? <laughs> yeah, those are original barns, you know. It's really in us, right? But we, we just need to be reminded. And then we go back to Eden right now. Yeah, we go back to Eden right now, and then we start to meditate on the holy name of God, you know, Yahweh, Heavenly Father. You can do that. You don't have to do it every day if you don't feel like it. Do it when you feel like it, when you feel the need to, you know. If you're very disciplined, do it every day. It doesn't hurt. It's good. Make you feel good. You can pray and meditate at the same time. Ask God for clarity, for peace, for... Wisdom. My first experience was just beautiful. You know, if you got, if your spirit is in line with the spirit of God, the Holy Spirit. Galatians 5:22. What does it say? I got my hat on today. I apologize. Yesterday I did three-part video and I didn't wear my hat. I'm so sorry. I didn't wear my head covering. Forgot. Please forgive me. So, what does Galatians 5:22 say? It's the spirit. Fruits of the Holy Spirit. There's nine of them. Memorize them. faith. Hope, love, joy, goodness, kindness, mildness, long-suffering, self-control. These are the fruits of the Holy Spirit Wonderful. connected to love, because God is love. So, like, isn't that amazing? That's what it's all about. God is love. He, Holy Spirit, it's what He's all about. That's what how He created everything around us. So much wisdom, love, everything. And he gives us this. Isn't that a nice gift? Not to mention everything else he blessed us with. It's spring. And when you go outside, you can smell the dew. You can smell the sweetness of the flowers. You sprout wheatgrass, grow it. it. Takes like a few days and you've got 
wheatgrass and you juice it and you know yeah, eat it like you that. You see that, friends, brothers and sisters. This I'm gonna press it down. I'm gonna put it in the freezer, and we're gonna have beautiful bars. Bars from Mars. Hey, you guys see Mars? What it looks like? You know why Mars is there? I realized last night. You know it's a planet that's uninhabitable and doesn't have any resources, and it's just a red dirt planet. And you know what? It's a reflection for us. Yeah, we're gonna meditate on that. Why did Why did Yahweh put that planet there for us to look at and think about? You know what? We should be grateful of our planet. We should take care of it because it's so green and full of life and energy. And then you look at Mars. It's dead. Dead planet. Full of poisonous gases which we are, are starting to accumulate. Um, Rabbi Yeshua was very uh, esteemed with the, uh, the group called the Essenes and they called him Teacher of Righteousness. He was... Uh, revered as that healer teacher master teacher that's why they called him master you know they called him master because he was uh, he earned that the honors and he had a ministry of healing people and curing them of their all their illnesses and diseases and they he did that by fasting fast and cleanse and uh and then he prescribed the genesis diet amazing that the honey from the bees was good and he said that the uh, milk from the from the animals from the beasts not just a cow, but he was talking about all the animals there. The, you know, we're talking about live raw foods and uh, living foods give you gives you life. And, you know, and he he gave a little key secret. He says that if you do do this, you'll never get sick. And these are the lesser mysteries of the kingdom of God, and you will be given the greater mysteries if you start with this one. So. I wanted to share that with you and these bars which are so awesome you know have a great weekend shalom peace all my brothers and sisters and my friends be happy god loves you god bless